Do you hate being bogged down by debt? Want to pay it off fast and get your finances back in check? Well, you're not the only one. Actually, on average, each American has a debt of more than $38,000. But don't worry, we're here to help you get out of debt and start your journey to financial freedom with four easy steps. Step 1. Understand how much you owe. To start getting rid of debt fast, figure out exactly how much you owe. Collect all your bills and write down all your debts with the lender, the amount and interest rate. This way, you'll know who to pay and how much. After that, you can make a plan to pay off the debt. It's important to prioritize your debts based on their interest rates. Start by paying off debts with the highest interest rates first, as they will cost you more in the long run. By attacking the debts with the highest interest rates first, you can save money on interest charges and reduce the overall amount of interest you'll pay over time. It's also important to keep in mind that some creditors may be willing to negotiate terms or interest rates, so it's worth reaching out to them and seeing if there's any room for negotiation. In addition, it's important to understand your credit score and credit report. Your credit score and credit report are important tools for getting better interest rates and terms on loans and credit cards. Make sure that your credit report is accurate and that you have a good credit score. You can get a free credit report from each of the three credit bureaus once a year. Once you have a clear understanding of your debt, interest rates, and credit report, you can start to create a plan of action. This will help you set financial goals and develop a strategy for paying off your debt quickly. Step 2. Create a budget. Creating a budget is crucial to paying off debt quickly. Start by calculating your income and expenses and figure out where you can cut back. Look for areas where you can reduce your spending, such as dining out, subscriptions, or entertainment. Every dollar you save can go towards paying off your debt. A budget will help you keep track of your spending and identify areas where you can cut back. This will help you prioritize your expenses and make sure that you're using your money in the most effective way possible. It's important to be realistic about your budget and to make sure that you're not cutting back too much on necessary expenses. When creating a budget, it's also important to include a savings category. Even if it's just a small amount, make sure to set aside some money each month for an emergency fund. This will help you avoid going into more debt if unexpected expenses arise. Budgeting also involves keeping track of your expenditures. Use an app or a spreadsheet to keep track of your spending. This will help you identify areas where you're overspending and make adjustments accordingly. Once you have a clear understanding of where your money is going, you can make better decisions about how to use it. Creating a budget is essential to paying off debt quickly. By keeping track of your income and expenses and looking for areas where you can reduce your spending, you'll be able to prioritize your expenses and make sure that you're using your money in the most effective way possible. Step 3. Tackle your debts. Once you have a budget in place, it's time to tackle your debts. A popular method for paying off debt quickly is the snowball method. With this method, you focus on paying off your smallest debt first, while making minimum payments on your other debts. Once the smallest debt is paid off, you move on to the next one, and so on. The satisfaction of paying off a debt can give you the motivation to keep going. The snowball method is a great way to start seeing progress quickly. By focusing on paying off your smallest debt first, you'll be able to pay off a debt relatively quickly, which can give you the motivation to keep going. As you pay off each debt, you'll have more money to put towards paying off your next debt. While using the snowball method, it's important to stay organized and keep track of your progress. Keep a record of your debts and the payments you've made. This will help you stay on track and keep your motivation up. Also, keep in mind that paying off debt is a continuous exercise. It's a process that takes time and effort. It's important to be patient, stay determined, and don't give up. Keep in mind that you didn't get into debt overnight, so it will take time to pay it off. Step 4. Consolidate your debt. Another strategy to consider is consolidating your debt. This can be done by taking out a personal loan or using a balance transfer credit card. By consolidating your debt into one manageable payment, you can often lower your interest rate and make it easier to pay off your debt quickly. 
When consolidating your debt, you're essentially taking out a new loan or credit card to pay off your existing debts. By doing this, you're combining multiple payments into one single payment, which can make it easier to manage your debt. Additionally, consolidating your debt can often lower your interest rate, which can save you money in the long run. One of the most popular methods of debt consolidation is through a balance transfer credit card. With a balance transfer credit card, you can transfer multiple credit card balances onto one card, often at a lower interest rate. This can help you save money on interest charges and make it easier to pay off your debt. However, it's important to pay attention to the fine print. Balance transfer credit cards often come with balance transfer fees, and it's important to pay off the balance before the promotional period ends. Another option to consider is taking out a personal loan to consolidate your debt. Personal loans are unsecured loans that can be used for a variety of purposes, including debt consolidation. The benefit of taking out a personal loan to consolidate your debt is that the interest rate is often lower than credit card interest rates. Consolidating your debt is a good option for those who have multiple high-interest credit card balances or loans with different interest rates. By consolidating your debt, you can simplify your payments, lower your interest rate, and make it easier to pay off your debt quickly. In short, consolidating your debt is a strategy worth considering when trying to pay off your debt quickly. By consolidating your debt into one manageable payment, you can often lower your interest rate and make it easier to pay off your debt. It's important to weigh the pros and cons of different consolidation options and consider the fees, terms, and interest rate before making a decision. Paying off debt is never easy, but it's definitely worth it. By creating a budget, tackling your debts, and seeking professional help when needed, you'll be on your way to financial freedom in no time. Remember to be patient, stay determined, and don't give up. You can do this. With the right mindset and the right tools, you can take control of your finances and achieve the financial freedom you deserve. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips have been helpful on your journey to pay off debt quickly. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.